We started playing around with the session kite a few years ago as we were just starting to see the transition of wave riding, specifically you know, how people were incorporating more air style into their wave riding. Also looking at how people were wave riding in onshore, looking at the evolution of strapless freestyle and you know, the feedback you know, to be more versatile, to be more all round. And you know, we didn't want to lose that core of the wave riding abilities. So the aspect ratio allows the kite to sit a little bit further forward in the window. Again, you're able to fix the drift, make the kite drift a bit better, which is essential for wave riding. And then that ability for the kite to fly forward, it actually also has big wave riding benefits. So you know, accomplishing that's also a positive in terms of the wave performance of the kite. And then the benefit beyond that is you get a kite that jumps really well. The session is supplied with two sets of bridles, which can be interchanged using the same bridle attachment points. For the classic air rush feel or smooth depower and ease of use, the standard pulley bridle is recommended. The longer bar throw means that you get a controlled longer depower range, keeping your back lines tight even at full depower. Kiko swears by the pulley system on his session. Perfect for freestyle, strapless or not. The fixed bridle adds another dimension for the intermediate to advanced rider. It offers a direct response and uses less bar input for immediate steering and a more crisp feel. The concept behind the load frame is to increase the durability without increasing weight. And how we did that was creating this web of high modulus PPE on that absorb a lot of the primary load that's running into the kite. This reduces the load on the canopy under impact. It also enhances the long-term durability. So you're not putting so much constant stress onto the canopy. That means your kite will last for longer. We also use WebTech where we connect this load frame onto the leading edge and onto the key load points on the kite. This helps us to get rid of traditional Dacron, reducing the weight further or increasing the strength. When we originally developed the kite, we worked a lot with Ryder Decker because he does a fair amount of strapless and he does a fair amount of wave riding. So he was kind of also ability to ride twin tips, you know, to give us a good crossover feel. And then connecting with people like Ozzy who really just wants a kite that wave rides incredibly well and doesn't want to compromise at all on the wave riding abilities. And he's also an incredible all-rounder in his own right. So he was able to really give the kite that absolute focus and make sure that we, we accomplished those goals. Yazakiko is new to the team and you know, he came in relatively late in the development and that was a good acid test for us to see what he thought of the kite and he was extremely stoked with the outcome of the kite that it could do a lot of what he needed it to do and, and being pretty much uh, a new school strapless rider and still being very passionate about improving his wave riding skills.